Yo, what up? It's your boy, Little Rodney. My cigar went out, but we're here to rank all of the uh, IBS, uh, ZGG IBS um, rosters, not just on their rosterness, but also on how accurate their name reflects the team. So let's go. All right, we're going to start off with Big Duck Entourage. So let's start here. This is their roster. We have Tomorrow in the top lane. I don't know shit about him. We have Swag Money Boy, who I have played with. He's pretty solid. We have Sightstone, Slightstone, whatever. But I know they subbed in someone else for mid as well. Um, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell y'all, uh, I don't think Sightstone's like that. I'm going to be honest about everybody if I think they're trash. Um, Willow and Ateta are perfectly mediocre. Um, another one of those I play really far behind and try not to get in trouble teams. The subs are Squad Fam Deluxe, I think I've played with, is okay. The rest of them, I don't know at all. So, as a roster in IBS, I think they're B. They can do great. Um, they probably need to shore up that mid lane, and that's just not my internal hateration. That's literally how I feel and how I think their game one reflected um, but as far as their name are they big they've only got eight people but that's more than most so that's you know are they ducks not really they there's some quacking but not a lot are they an entourage yes there's a lot of them so I'm gonna go ahead and place them in eight tier. we're gonna move ahead to junior burgers so they have Ganondorf. I uh, don't really know who Ganondorf is other than I've killed them about a million times already in uh, various Hyrule adventures. We have Tafiki, which I don't know, could be Rafiki. If it's Rafiki, uh, I probably paid some mages. If not, fuck it, I don't know. Chopper melodies, I don't know, but I do, do love hearing the chopper thing. Um, one of the best sounds in the world when you hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know. Um, their ADC is Arks Knight. Don't know who he is. Maybe it's short for Arkham Knight. Uh, so maybe he's Batman. Probably gonna play a lot of Aphelios. X Snips. Don't know. I do use the Snipper Tool a lot, though, at work. I like Snipper Tool. And then their subs are also people I don't know. So... This is burger flip. It's a coin flip on if they're good. And if they're bad, they can probably flip burgers. And it's junior implying that they are the lesser or the second of, which I think is appropriate because they seem pretty lesser. So that's an S tier name right there uh, to go with that roster. Next we have, uh, what is this, RAR? I don't know, RAR IBS. They have a lot of people on their roster. Let's go ahead and go over here. So we have Penny, never heard of him, or her, or them. Pardon if I'm getting your pronouns wrong. Actually, I've never heard of anybody on their roster except for maybe Beyblades. I think I've heard of Popo, but only like passing. So I don't know if they're any good. Now, I'm an old emo kid. Maybe I should move this over here so y'all can see who I'm talking about. So I like RARs, but none of them give me good emo vibes. So I'm not going to say that they're very raw. They're not very raw XD. Um, they're pretty quiet. They don't have cool scene haircuts. No snap bracelets, nothing like that. Yeah. Giving them a D. All right, on to feed the dream. Feed the dream black has tamed in the top lane. Tamed is okay. Has sidewinder. Don't know who that is. Avatar of Duena. Hmm. Has Vinny. Vinny is really good. Has Azzy. Azzy is okay. I've only played like a couple games with them. 
um, Hunsa is uh, some mid. Um, don't know who Caboose is, don't know who Prevail is. So Vinny is an okay bot laner, can actually get ahead. Don't know how well he will get ahead. Um, you know, still plays really passive, but you know. So it's Feed the Dream Black, so let's start here. Are they feeding their dreams? Yes, they dream of playing League of Legends, I assume. I hope so, I hope you're not playing League of Legends for fun because ain't no fun to be had in this shit. Um, are they black? No. Uh, from my experience with the four members I've encountered, they are not black. So that's going to put them in B tier. Between the roster and, uh, I don't know, maybe A tier? Uh, we'll put them A tier. Because they are feeding their dream, they aren't black, and the roster seems pretty solid. Next we have one of the GSGs. We'll go with GSG uh, Kappa. So, I'm going to start off. Uh, they have Leper Koopa, Timic, Only Magical Girls, Snuggle Butt, and the Train. So we played against them. They're not very goony. I'm just going to start off. They're not very goony. Um, they're kind of, I don't know. We like to make, I like to make fun of Kappas. Kappa being the black fraternity. We like to make fun of them. But y'all aren't allowed to make fun of them unless you're black. For obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, we'll make fun of them. But these guys, I don't think our cap is either. I don't think they get the cane and do the stroll. Um, so as far as the roster goes, Leper is good on things he's good with and bad on everything else. Pimic is pretty whatever. Only Magical Girl is also fairly mid. Snugglebutt is uh, made out of scared juice. And the train actually does a great job of protecting his ADC. Or their ADC, I should say, who is made out of scared juice. That said, GSG Kappa, they're not goons. They're in a squad, they are gaming, but they're not goons, which is the operative part, and they're not Kappas. Eat here. Alright, now on to Goon Squad Delta, who are somewhere. Alright, I know solid amounts about this roster, though. So let's start here. Actually, one hand I don't know. Salamander, I think, is actually very good. Axel, no idea. Maybe Axel Foley. Uh, Finch Clinchy, Finch Flinchy, don't know, um, wish you were Flint Fossey, because I heard you like to dance, Chubby Chernobyl, pretty okay, um, the rest of them, I don't know who they are, alright, so let's start here, are they goons, no, they squad, yes, they're gaming, yes, are they deltas, again, that's a black sorority, I definitely don't think they're deltas, I don't think that their hair swishes, um, you know, I don't think they uh, they throw up the dynasty sign, so I'm going to go ahead and say that they are also in D tier. So now we got these alien head looking motherfuckers. I don't know who they are. Who are they? I don't know. Head looking motherfuckers. Um, we're going to go with Hive Mind. That seems logical. So, I've played with some of them. Let's see. Momental, Momentai, mm, whatever. Grizzly, don't know. Kha'Zix, I mean, Season 3 Kha'Zix was OP. Okay. You could play Kha'Zix in the mid lane, understand. Uh, this guy's name um, includes part of a word we don't say anymore. So, I already downvoted. Neo, don't know. Stone Poet, I do know. Um, I think Stone's a, a cool dude. Um, I didn't like laning with him because he plays very passive. I play, uh, we'll call it aggressive, but he's a sub. I don't know what he's going to offer. So I don't know if they are a hive or not. Um, so I'm going to put them in C tier. Next up is Hyperion Gaming. Let's see. Hyperion. Who's on your roster? Hyperion Shadow. Uh, a bunch of people I don't know. I don't know any of these people. And if I do know you, I don't know you because you didn't make enough of an impression, which means you probably suck. But not suck enough to matter. So, the roster will say is C. So what's a Hyperion? Because I don't know what a Hyperion is. I know Hyperion the uh, comic book character novel 
Oh, Hyperion's a Titan. Okay, like from Greek mythology. Do I think these guys are mythological creatures? Negative. You're going to go into C tier. Next we have... I assume that's Titan. I don't know. Looks like a Titan. Oh, Spartan. That makes sense. All right. So we're going to be really well, like I said. Spartan. Uh, Zara Patissa. I don't know. Lindel. Um, I don't think Lindel is very good at jungling. Uh, generally, Lindel does not have a lot of pressure. Um, and is normally uh, about half to a full level behind between levels 8 and 10. Take it how you will. Uh, Akumo. Lindel's not necessarily a bad dude, but I don't think... Uh, I think might actually be better suited with a move to support. Um, that said, I also did uh, go hella. Uh, I did go Bobby Knight on Lindell before, which I've apologized both to Lindell and to others for. Um, you know, that was my bad. But yeah, I think he might be better served with a roll swap to support, just because his pathing's a little questionable and his presence is uh, iffy. I don't know who Okuma is or Carson. West Doorway. I do love West Door, the old player. Um, used to play in uh, in Taiwan before the TPL crashed. I think he's in China now. Uh, I don't know the rest of their roster that well at all. So, I mean, roster wise, I think it's like ND. Or do I think they're Spartans? Do I think they're like sleeping on the floor studying up to play? No. D tier. All right, Revolution Esports. So, let's see who we got. We got Janobi, who is serviceable. We have Juan Cena, who likes to play uh, assassins, but I don't necessarily think plays them well. That said, I think he also kind of sandbags sometimes when he plays with me. It's really hilarious because, like, I'll play against him, he'll play something useful, and he'll straight up dominate. And then he plays with me and he plays like Kha'Zix or Nocturne and he's just kind of there. We have Exotic Fox who I think is, I can shit on him, you can't, sorry, you're just not on my level. We have Wystone who, meh, whatever, Tamira or I don't know, whatever French pronunciation, not bad. We have Lesphanx at a support. Or as a sub, I should say, not as a support. The Sphinx is okay. I don't know who Gold 630 is. I don't know who MX Juice is. So it's Revolution Uprising. What are they uprising against? Are they uprising against ZGG? Because ZGG is corrupt and they need to January 6th that shit? Who knows? Um, are they a revolution? Not really. Are they revolutionary? Not really. I'm going to put them in B tier. Next, we have Same Strategy. We'll start off with the obvious. Is same strategy on the same strategy? Nah, not normal. Um, so we got Slushy in the jungle, who I think actually is pretty pretty solid. We have Chair Force, who also I think is pretty solid. We have Old Sad Boy Summer in the ADC, who I think is really good. Um, very aggressive sometimes, a lot of times to his own detriment, but is almost always going to come out of lane with a lead. How the team, same strategy is on that lead. We will see. We have Chief Chirpa in support, who played a very good brand and I think has generally been played well. We have uh, Queen Frost as a sub, who um, I actually haven't had a chance to play with yet. And you will notice the top lane is empty. So that's already penalizing your roster. You don't even have a top laner. I mean, who really needs a top laner? Who knows? But are they on the same strategy? Nah. All right. Next up, we have what is this? Titan. Seems like it would be Titan TT. Who am I missed? I got all of these. We got Rev Uprising. I wasn't trying to do that. But I saw these fuckers. Yeah. Or sorry, TD Shadow. Alright. So let's go through here. Xyphus. Meh, whatever. Never bothered me. So he's just top laner up there top laning. Rhymes, never heard of him. Of them, but I do like rhymes. See the dark? Don't know. Maybe plays Nocturne. Nocturne, solo lane. Really strong for a minute. We have Girth Brooks, which is just a great name. Um, but don't know. Don't care. Brandon needs help. Extra mid. 
It's like the fucking big Sean of supports. Like, okay, you're there. Sometimes I want to skip over your verse. Occasionally you do something good. Uh, and I don't know the rest of them. So I don't remember what TD stands for. Um, but it's TD Shadow. And man's name is See the Dark. I think it's a solid roster. Somewhere in between B and C. I'm going to go with C. Alright, next we have TFF Solar Flare. I don't know what the fuck TFF stands for. Let's start there. Um, and I don't know any of these players either. So let's go with that. So, yeah. Thing is, I don't think any of us were blinded and any of us had uh, electromagnetic issues. So, yeah. Oh, is there two Hyperion teams? I don't know. Um, either way, uh, Solar Flare, we're going to give him D tier, I don't know what TFS stands for, and then, who's that, that's Valor Bulls, so who's on Valor Bulls, Kenzie, Kenzie's whatever, has a great Discord name, Red Panda, whack, Staff Wannabe, I don't know why you would want to be Staff here, uh, Merciful Crow, Merciful Crow can get eaten all day. And I don't just mean that in that I eat crow. I mean, you eat crow for having ever stopped in the mid lane to be against me. Um, the scout, 666, whatever. You know, 2v1 fodder. So it's whatever. Um, are they bulls? No. Do they have valor? Actually, yes. Are they united? Who fucking knows? B tier. All right. Have I missed anybody? Got those fuckers. Feed the Dream, Green Squad, Hive Mind, Riot IBS, Hyperion Shadow. So that's everybody. Revolution IBS, Big Duck Hunt. Yeah, okay, so we got everybody. So this is how I feel about your rosters plus your name. The only S tier is Junior Burgers because they are, in fact, um, inferior. They likely flip burgers. Big Duck Entourage. They are big. They have an entourage. They have an okay roster. Feed the Dream. They are feeding their dreams. Revolution is in B tier with Valor Bulls because meh, maybe. Um, and then you, you can figure out the rest. So there you go. There's my tier list for IBS ZGG. Uh, if you disagree, it's probably because you're whack. If you agree, it's probably because you're smart. Catch y'all later.